Okay, day 349 here. Um, you can see the Capitol kind of in, through the distance, through the labor building there. Um, there's this agent oven, O-V-E-N, I think, oven. Uh, I don't know if that's a real name. I'm expecting agent microwave any, any time now. Uh, but he just completed his testimony, the direct, and then now they've started uh, cross-examination. Uh, cross uh, again, they didn't go for the Buffmaster Charlie uh, spick and span foyer. They didn't touch anything about going between the office and the cantina uh, where he got those other two guys out. Um, didn't touch that. But what they did is in that same corridor between the two buildings, let's say between here and there, it's a, it's a carport basically, you could see uh, p uh, guys coming in. This is after they've left, after the two guys gone in and got the two agents out and they've left. You could see the rebels or whoever just walking out with maps in one arm and a computer in the other arm and these other two guys are carrying this gigantic diplomatic pouch it looks like it's got some big bulky item it doesn't look like it has a bunch of mail in it it looks like it's i mean i i just thought of a huge cake of, mer of heroin but it's got there's two guys carrying this gigantic diplomatic pouch and then this guy coming out with literally an armful of maps so one of the first thing you do in a diplomatic mission is destroy that stuff. Before you leave your post, you destroy that stuff. You don't give that stuff to the enemy. That's like giving the uh, maps of the weapon. The first thing I thought of is this is a Dumbo drop. This is a dead drop. They used to call it a dead drop or a document drop or a doc drop or a, you know, a dro or just a drop. You know, it's like you couldn't be more obvious and, and actually try to. I mean. The only other thing that would beat this would be a live drop where we actually hand the maps. You hand the diplomatic pouch to the enemy. You know, it couldn't have been worse. Uh, I, I, literally then, I am not lying, a U.S. car, a U.S. armored vehicle, Toyota Highlander, then pulls up right where that gentleman's standing right there. And then they load it up. And they start loading it up with uh, uh, laptops and PCs and so, so forth. And then the film cuts off. Again, the testimony, whatever the testimony is, it doesn't agree with the facts. The facts are they did not destroy the documents. The facts are they walked out in a very leisurely pace with a gigantic, gigantic diplomatic pouch and an armful of maps which would have the locations of the weapons caches. I, this is not what the prosecution or the defense has painted. This is a drop. This is a document drop for the rebels to get the to get the arms and to send them to Syria. I'm sorry, it's, the facts, all the testimony means nothing if you have the video that says something exactly the opposite.